The sum of uh, 28.1 billion was appropriated to the recurrent overhead. Then cost, food store, food store, a bit food ration, overhead running cost. Then my, <coughs> how, how did you get, what is the ration per image? How many images do you have now? Did you have last year? How did you get? How did you get? How did you arrive at this figure? If you go to two, uh, because 2000, 2024, you quoted 850 per image. Not up to 1,000. A woman bring you a video. You have not taken, have you taken into consideration what really happened to food prices in the last two years? No, no, I get two questions now. That's the question. I, I think, sir, uh, we should allow him to, to speak to you. Mr. CJ, you had this question. Have you acquired You may wish to answer. You have acquired this year. Defense. <laughs> billion uh, allocated to Russia. It will interest us here that it's not only prisoners feeding that is inclusive in that 22 billion. We have feeding of prisoners, feeding of dog kennels, feeding of staff on training on, in six training institutions nationwide, feeding of vulnerable groups and feeding of the radicalization programs. And uh, these releases are on monthly basis. We only receive releases from January to August as at now. And uh, the past, the past president have approved an increase of food ration from 450 to 750. And taking into consideration of these activities under that food ration, that money is grossly inadequate, sir. Thank you, sir. 358 inmates. 358. Yes, sir. 2023, sir. Even 2023, sir. Yes, per day. Per day. Per day. Meets on average, because I guess the number keep going up and down. Some retire, some die, some are discharged, some are released. So on average, what was the total number of inmates in 20, or what is the total number of inmates in 2023? Yes. The total number is 81,354 per day nationwide. What is the budget? If I recall our previous conversation, I think about 50,000 or more are not convicted. They are waiting trial. Or what is the figure again? Of those awaited trial, all your, I mean, when you talk of inmates, these 181 include both convicted and those awaited trial. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Of this number, how many are awaited trial? Sorry. Yes, I'm looking at it. Oh, oh yes. Tip. All right. That is for me. Can mail. we have one meeting? For me, me. Because mail. it will not be right that if speaks and we don't listen, yeah. and then we, we, we put the question back. Under our laws, these 54,668 Nigerians. Yes, sir. They are not guilty of any offense known to law. Yes, sir. They are innocent under our law. Yes, sir. They are presumed innocent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. sir. And so for an innocent Nigerian who is being held in a correctional home, can you take me through the budgeting of the, the, the elements that constitute the 250 Naira with which you feed them for breakfast? Another 250 for lunch and uh, another 250 for dinner. How is this calculated? Just give us an idea of how you feed them. 
how much an image should be fed no, with. No, 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 no. I understand that. Yes, sir. But now that you have, it has been determined for you. Yes, sir. How do you apply it? And I say we, we have a process of uh, contract award. We call in people. We put up adverts. People are interested in feeding inmates. No, 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 no. Those are your procedures. At the end of the day, okay, procurement. you will give to a contractor or, or by yourself, direct or indirect. It's not. 250 naira. The inmates are not well fed. Excuse me, you are telling me a story of what is not. But I want you to just educate me how you do it because some of us can benefit from it. When I say benefit, there must be a, mark, a way in which you do this budget. Hmm? We can learn from you. Huh? Yes, sir. Based on the locality. Yeah, that is, that is getting closer to my question. Yes, sir. Take us through that menu. <laughs> We don't have the chat here now. You mean it's so complicated that you yes. need to read a book? Yes. Yes, it's a menu. That what a prisoner should take, the quantity of beans per person, the quantity of rice, even the soup, the soup that is tomato and all those things, is stated in the menu. And what, is, what each prisoner is entitled to is stated in the menu. That's what we apply in the custodial centers. OK. How much is the tomato content? Sir. The beef content? The rice content? The rice yes. Content. What is the rice content? The rice content is in the menu. I don't have the quantity of heads. That means you, you know Nigerians. And I know for a fact that there are a lot of Nigerians who are innocent, who are in prison, courtesy of big men and big women, who want to, quote, teach them a lesson. And they are there for an offense they do not know anything about, some of them at least. But the system has held them under your care. I am concerned that, like somebody said, when we celebrate the late Mandela of blessed memory, that if he was in Nigeria prison for 27 years, he will not come out sane to govern South Africa. So our prisons, we have even changed the name to correctional. They are meant to correct even convicted people. They are not condemned or condemnation center. They are not to be dehumanized. So there are two or more possibilities. It is either that the prisoners are looking for relations to contribute to feed themselves, or you don't feed them, or you feed them only once, and even at that very miserable food which explains why, other than Mr. Mr. Well-known Nigeria in prison, the ordinary unknown Nigeria leave the prison completely emaciated, so can never live decent life again, even where they did not commit an offense. We have seen the, 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 the visuals. So it is not correct to tell us that you feed prisoners three times a day with 750. How? And you are listing tomatoes. I bought tomatoes yesterday. You are talking about beans. I bought beans the day before yesterday. You talk about rice. I bought rice last week. And I know the price. Yes. It's not only senator that I buy. Even you, you are buying. Looking at you, you look more better fed than us. Maybe because we are overworked here. So you all know the price of this item. So how can you look us eye to eye and tell us that you feed a man a Nigerian, a weighty trial, or even convicted with several or 50 naira a day, three times. What is the bottle of water? What is the cost? This water. They are entitled not just to water, they are entitled to clean water. This water is not a luxury. We are taking it because we assume it is clean and it doesn't carry waterborne diseases. So they are entitled to clean water. What is the price of water? Clark, how much is this water? 150, sir. I don't know the meaning of 150. 150. For this? One um, no, this is not 500. Eh? <laughs> 500 centiliter or whatever. Yes, 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 yes. 
So out of the 250, 50 naira is what the naira is left. I have down. down. Uh, the CG. Uh, looking at uh, your presentation, we have uh, a figure of 81358 inmates. But at page five of your 2023 performance, the total is 77. 77,682. Be it 79. All of that. But that's not the issue. No. Now, I think what we should give us in terms of all of this budget performance and proposals is the number of inmates you have at the beginning of the year. Numbers released as at the time of budget presentation or in the course of the year and those that died and possibly a breakdown of inmates state by state. That is one. Two, in your 2024 budget presentation, you will have 30.8 billion naira as overhead, with 24.4 billion for feeding. No, and not yet. No, that, we are not, not yet, yet on that. There. No, no. Not yet there. let's just go as quick as we can, finalize from the lessons or from our observation, we can then uh, go into 2023, take into account you know what we have seen with regard okay. to twenty. The rest of my Sorry, comment will be reserved. Yes, please. Till we get to twenty twenty four. Any other comment on twenty twenty three only? Mr. Don. Okay. Comments. Yeah. Um. Uh, CJ, to be honest, I would personally like to have copy of your budget of 250 per meal. Because we have been told that it includes even tomatoes, onions, beans, palm oil, or coconut, whatever. Let's see how it works. <coughs> because the suspicion of many of, the, of, many of us is that uh, these inmates are not being fed three times a day. It's impossible. And the money is not enough. N not that it is your fault. You can't give what you don't have. But to try to rationalize it that you feed three times a day, uh, you must have a magician in your kitchen. If there's no any other point, we will go to 2023. Sorry, 2024. So, uh, Mr. CJ, do you want to speak to 2024 uh, estimates? Yes, please. I have a vet doctors. How many vet doctors do you have? Or maybe you can tell me how many uh, regular doctors you have. Excuse me. My name is Senator Erechi Kingibe, Senator representing the Federal Capital Territory. I just wanted a little clarification on the number of doctors you have as well as the number of vet doctors. You lumped them together, and I wanted to know the actual numbers of vet doctors you have. Veterinary doctors are supposed to look after the dogs, right? Yes. And how much does it cost to feed the dog? <laughs> because I guess you can starve human beings. If you starve a dog, it will turn against you. Yes, so how much do you spend to feed the dog? How many and how many dogs do you have? Sir, Mr. Chairman, sir. Uh, firstly, we have medical doctors attending to inmates in various custodial centers. We have 75 medical doctors. 75. 75, sir. Medical, yes, sir. Medical doctors. And uh, for full time, sir. Full time. Full time employees. Full time employees, yes, sir. Are they consultants or just general doctors? They are 
They are from directory, they are doctors, correctional, employed by the service as medical doctors. Yes. Are they specialists or are they general practitioners? They are general practitioners, sir. Okay. Some, some of them are consultants. We have so, consultants among them. We have general it's okay, uh, physicians it's okay. among them. And we have six uh, veterinary doctors. Six? Yes, sir. Where are they located? Uh, where we have Kennel, we have the, they are the headquarters. We have one who is the head of the unit. Then we have in Lagos, we have in Kaduna, we have in Kano, we have in Oweri. They are where we have big kennels. Sometimes we have one veterinary doctor covering more than one state because of the numbers we have. I think it is implied that if you have 36 states and you have uh, five or six doctors prison to prison. Yes, sir. So how many dogs do you have? I don't, I don't have that number right now, but I can give it number. Yes. Why should you have it? You are coming for budget defense, and it will include. I take, I, I take the fault, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, but let me I, put it differently. How much did you spend last year feeding dogs? We don't have the statistics here, sir. But I. Yes. Right, right, I don't have it, but before the closure of the meeting, I will have the. Is it there? Is it there? It's not there. Yes, sir. So, and body language. That you can't account for how much you spend to feed six dogs. Not six, not just six dogs, sir. How many? Not, we have doctors. Six doctors. Sir, sir, within the veterinary unit, we have doctors, we have nurses, we have dog handlers that are professionals. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, sir. Let me just take one. Two more for us to expect that in determining to employ six veterinary doctors, you took into account the number of dogs that they are supposed to look after. I don't know what you have here. We are all here. If you don't seem to be able to account for what you are presenting, then it casts a big question mark on the entire presentation. Although she called it a simple question, uh, or, or how did you describe it? My new, yeah. You can see that your minute question, the entire team is battling with it. What is this? No, 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 no. We need to have these things. Because we must give appropriate money for people if they don't know what to do with it. Okay, which one? We need to convince ourselves that at least we were told that they have dogs and they know the number of dogs, they have doctors, and this is the cost per dog for us to be able to defend it. The cost of feeding a dog per day is 800 naira. This is it. Brother, I just want them to know that we are not going to rubber stamp anything. And if they are not able to give us satisfactory questions, uh, answers to our questions, we will adjourn until they are ready. But we will not stamp because we are in a hurry. Because the taxpayer's money is not um acquired in a hurry. People work hard to pay their taxes for which we are appropriating. If they are going to spend that money to for anything, they need to convince us that they know what they are doing. So if they can't tell us the number of dogs they have, the location of those dogs, and how much they spend to feed how much they spend to feed them, why should we believe their numbers when it comes to it one thousand quote image? So for me, it's about the integrity test. Can we trust the figures? No, Mr. Chairman, that we are not, we are not convinced about. But at least one thing has come out. And because there were a couple of reasons why we're asking these questions. Not only to test whether you are sure of your, your own figures, but even to place a weight on what you tell us. What's a, what's a
what is that has come out is that an unconvicted Nigeria who is presumed innocent in law, according to you, you feel that innocent who is presumed innocent with 750 naira a day at 250 naira per meal. And then a dog, which may be a Nigeria dog or an imported dog, you know, you feed the dog with at least 800 naira a day. So a dog is better fed in Nigeria prison than an innocent Nigeria who is held in your custody. At least that has come out. This is not your fault. And so don't try to be defensive. Yeah. It just shows the crisis of money. I mean, uh, 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 it's, it's, it's a policy issue. Whether it is the detention of government to, to appropriate more money to feed animals than to feed human beings. And that is a major policy issue for us. It is just that you didn't seem to have done your whole work. You should have told us exactly what is it that, in your estimate, from your experience? And when you talk about your experience, remember that we are all in the same market. Only that my coach here may be going to Dunes <laughs> to buy his vegetable, and I will go to farmer's market. No, I go to uh, after the After the flies are feasted on it, farmers the prices are a bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to mention the farmer's market to. So they don't I, I, I use it against me elsewhere. Okay. But just to say that, you know, we expect you to speak more clearly. That is the only way we can help you. And we're not actually helping you. The intention is to provide some comfort to those people who, for no fault of their, most of the time, are detained because of the power of big men and big women who Thank want you. to teach them a lesson. And because the government is unable to prosecute, they end up spending more time than they would have even done if they, were com if they were convicted for the offense for which they are detained. So we have a duty to be our brother's keepers. They are just suspects. And that is why it hurts if indeed this is the way they are treated. Any one of us could end up there. Yeah. Because in any case, governors have ended up there. It's only president who have not yet ended up there. And who knows? A yeah. president has actually ended up there, a former head of state. Yes. Has ended up in prison. Maybe you have a way of providing for those, because the one I know can survive for 750. <laughs> okay, sir. That is what so that is the point. Unless we understand the issue, yes. we, we cannot think of what to do. What I expected them to do, that's why I'm asking him, wait, wait, don't propose. It, 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 this has to come from there. We are not to generate proposal. They are to propose, we are to hear and decide. That's why I'm asking you, CJ, what in your estimate or your view from your experience do you require to feed an inmate, whether convicted or awaited trial? Yeah. Because even those convicted, they are in correctional homes. It is not for nothing that your name will change from prison to correctional homes. So the emphasis is to correct, not to kill them. Yes. So what do you require to feed a Nigerian, to maintain, particularly those not convicted, to maintain their dignity because they are just being held, you know, because of all the iniquities in our system. Somebody can pay that that guy must remain in prison, don't grant him bail. And Majesty, can remind you, and I joined the case for six months. And at the next adjournment, the prisons have no vehicle to bring the guy Just to court. And therefore, the magistrate extends the detention. I have seen many such cases. Yeah. And we have a duty to ensure that this Senate, the 10th Senate, correct the errors of the past. We must be seen to care for Nigerians. Even those who are criminals, unless they are sentenced to death, they are not meant to die in prison. They are meant to be corrected. And I'm sure many of you will know people who went to prison as decent men, but they were unlucky. One big man or one big woman in Flames, they are being detained. And by the time they come out, they have mixed with hardy criminals who are hungry, who are being dehumanized. They themselves have been dehumanized. They come out now becoming criminals. Yeah. And now we all cry about insecurity. 
like somebody told us yesterday, I believe it was the minister, and that for me is a fair reflection of the tragedy that we face. That you take a man to prison allegedly because he slapped somebody or he sorted somebody, fabal assault, and then you convict him, he comes out, he's now a convict, he carried that sky, he's hungry, the next time he steals a goat, he goes to prison, he's convicted, he comes out, the next time he becomes an armed robber. Because he has already been destroyed, you make him mix with people, and the fact of hunger dehumanizes them. They end up angry with our society. That is not the idea of correctional home. We shouldn't change the world the way we change Nigeria Airways logo. From elephant, we thought that was the problem. We put eagle so that they can fly. In the end, it was grounded forever. So your name has been changed from prison to correctional. But the figures and the narration here suggest that you are dehumanizing. Not your fault, by the way in which government appropriate money for you to feed people that are supposed to be corrected. Make the case so that we together can bear these guys out of the terrible situation that they are in. I still want to bring an in, but I would like to add, yes. with your permission, sir, uh, in respect to freedom of inmates, we realize that uh, it's, no more, it's no more workable based on the, the caricature of prices. And on that basis... I don't know, this your public address is not... Uh, uh, and and on, that, on that basis, the service wrote a letter to the Honorable Minister of Interior requesting for the, 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 the gov requesting for government to introduce or make available uh, 3,000 naira per day per image, which we did and submitted to the Minister to the President. And we are waiting for approval. That is where we are now, in terms of freedom of inmates. We wrote, a, we wrote a letter to the minister requesting for review from 750 to 3,000 3, naira per inmate per day. We are waiting for the, the request we made, sir. I want the committee, I will solicit for assistance to, from the committee to assist us in trying to uh, realize the request we submitted so far. For, yes, for the 3,000. So you were here yesterday when the minister admitted rather than be correctional, can be said to be dehumanizing and uh, he used very, in my view, very appropriate but very strong words that suggest that although it is correctional, but the effect is the opposite. And the basis for correction is that a man should be well fed, even to go for lectures. So this 2024 budget is based on the same old figures? Please continue. Um, explain what you brief us in National Assembly. Because of, cost of things in the market today, That's you cannot fair. even award ration in this 2024. We have not given up to now. That is the thing. It's things you we need to are explain to us. For Excuse me, sir. That is the most of the critical things. And that is why most of the inmates are all agitating because they are not well fed. You need increment in their feeding. And that is what you wanted the House, both the Senate and House of Rep, to look into I what they so. can do to increase the feeding of inmates I so that so the now. sound of the correction service can really be emulated. I say so now, sir. That as well as, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present 2024 budget proposal. The sum of 75 billion, 886,000, a million, 529,980 naira was proposed and captured in 2024 personal cost template provided to the MDAs. The service operates four salary structures, Compass, Commerce, Conhers, and Compass, with a total staff strength of 33,023 staff. However, it is worthy to note that the service is headed by a controller general and deputized by eight deputy controllers general in charge of directors and are all on top sal. 
personnel cost, 75 billion, 850 million, 529,958 naira only. The breakdown of the personal cost is at appendix C1. Recurrent overhead cost and proposal. The, the service proposes a sum of 30 billion, 862 million, and 80,627 naira as overhead cost, which is made up of 24 billion, 447 million, 582,237 naira on daily cost of 750 naira for, for feeding of a projected image of 81,358 based on FICA in custodial centers nationwide, including dog kennels, officers on training and seven training institutions nationwide, dragged of extreme terror, uh, terror suspects and vulnerable groups, and 6,414,498,390 naira as the service overhead running cost. The proposed amount is based on overhead cost as uh, ceiling allocated the service as overhead running cost, which covers the cost of local travel and transport, uniforms and other clothing inmates, drugs, maintenance of motor vehicles or transport, equipment, local training, capacity building, office accommodation, and rent, motor vehicle, fuel cost, among others. The breakdown of the overhead cost is at appendix C2. The service proposed on the, 20, the, the, the service proposed on the 2024 capital budget ceiling is 13 billion, 913 million and 2,000 603 naira 99 kobo, based on the review new capital budget cost ceiling allocated to the service has been uploaded in the GIPMIS platform. Nevertheless, this amount proposed is for construction, provision of consortium centers, offices, buildings, purchase of operational vehicles, purchase of security equipment, Rehabilitation of consortia centers and barracks nationwide, among others. The analysis shows a drastic reduction of 38.6.07% of capital in 2024 compared to the 2023 capital budget appropriation. It is worthy to note that correction service is faced with several challenges in terms of capital projects ranging from reconstruction of deteriorated uh, perimeter walls Decade says in almost all the consortium centers constructed 60 to 100 years ago. Inadequate security equipment, operational vehicles to convey inmates to and from courts nationwide, among other things. It is in the light of the above, I strongly appeal to the distinguished and honorable members of the Joint Committee on Interior and Reformatory Institutions to come to the service aid by of scaling the current capital budget proposal of 13 billion, of 13 billion, 913 million, and 2,603 naira 99 kobo, to the tune of 22 billion, 466 million, 456,124 naira only, to be at par with 2023 budget appropriation, which will enable us continue the construction of 3,000 capacity consortium centers across the six geopolitical zones as approved by the former president. Similarly, I also wish to appeal to this committee for additional funds to the tune of 7 billion under economic code line from 2303018, rehabilitation and repairs, prisons nationwide, to enable the service address issues of the deteriorated perimeter was built since 80 to 100 years ago. Renovation of old cell blocks and staff quarters in some consortium centers, among other things. Furthermore, it is pertinent 
to inform the distinguished uh, honorable members of the joint committee that if the move, if the above request is granted, the funds will be expended towards the installation of high profile surveillance CCTV cameras and accessories in the maximum medium custodial centers nationwide. The service will also embark on the general rehabilitation or the digitalization of inmates and personnel activities in the custodial centers nationwide, which will invariably beep off security in and around the custodial centers and the nation in general. The breakdown of the capital cost is marked as Appendix C3. In summary, the budget proposal estimate of the Nigerian Cultural Service are outlined as follows. One, personnel, 75 billion, 850 million, 529,958 Naira. Overhead, 30 billion, 862,000 and 80,627 Naira. Capita, 13 billion, 913 million and 2,693 Naira 99 Kobo. All the total is 120 billion, 625 million 613,278 Naira 99 Kobo. Revenue projection for the year 2023. The cost of discharging our duties, in the cost of discharging our duties, the service as well generates revenue to government via farm centers and cottage industries through trade and skills acquisition. Although the service is not uh, categorized as a revenue generating agency, however, it will not like to be left out in contributing its quota in the mobilization of the nation's revenue. It is in the light of the above, the service projected the revenue as follows. Projected in 2022, we projected 20, uh, 87,845,000 699,91,75 Kobo, but we generated 117,263,457,93 Kobo. In 2023, we projected 91,814,956,47 Kobo, but we are able to generate 706,797,000 Naira. While 2024, we projected for 141,698,324 Naira 63 Kobo. In 2025, we projected for 161,698,325 Naira 26 Kobo. Okay. So my prayers in this is that uh, I would like to plead with the two co uh, uh, committees to intervene on the issue of uh, ration, feeding of evenings, as I already highlighted. We have written a letter from the service to the Honorable Minister requesting the upward review of uh, feeding of evenings in the General Correctional Service from 750 to 3,000 Naira per emit per day. So what we are looking for uh, assistance from the two sessions to assist the service in doing so. Two, we pleaded also to, to, for the committee to guide you to correct some errors that we have between 22 and 23 budget proposals and performance. Hmm? Mm. We also uh, seek for assistance for the two committees to assist us in having more funds so as to solve some of the challenges that we have in the correctional service. For example, as I said initially, you find a center being established, for example, in 1903, and it's, it's still existing. So those such centers, for example, are highly dilapidated. 
and they need uh, uh, repairs or, con or completely uh, be renovated. Not only in one place, any state you go in Nigeria today, you find out that there are stations that we have or centers that we have that need uh, a kind of uh, remodeling because they have been highly uh, dilapidated, established 50, 200 years ago. So on that basis, we would like the two committees to assist the service in having more uh, uh, funds to uh, at least uh, solve some of our, our challenges. Associate Minister. My distinguished colleagues and honorable members and co-chair, the DG has made his presentation and the floor is open for comments, observation. The floor is open. Yes, sir. Uh, honorable members, uh, I've had, having had the presentation, you know, it's very clear from what we are having here that uh, the, they have a problem at the level of the capital. They want to amend the provision of 13 billion to at least the figure that they had last year, which is about 22 billion as capital. Then they also want a 7 billion from the economic code line in order for them to address the deteriorated and dilapidated perimeter walls, fences, old cell blocks, and staff quarters. Then they want this committee to intervene on the issue for an upward review of ration rates. Now, anybody who visits this country's prisons and the staff quarters. It's not just the prisons that are dilapidated, even the houses where the officers are going, uh, are, are sleeping. In fact, in some places there are no differences between the prisoners and the staff. So I think it is uh, incumbent on the committee and on the chairman of the two committees. That's, that's, that, but we know. These are not the ones who are on the ground. My comrades. It's your comrades that I'm talking about. So I think the, the, the issue before this committee is actually what you have always said. We have to look at this issue from both a practical and from a humanistic standpoint. I know, Mr. Chairman, you have always been a humanitarian, somebody who has been working for the welfare of the down trees throughout your life. And there is nowhere where you can make an impact better than here. You know the problem. You have led the nation's labor movement. You have ruled a state for eight years. Nobody here had the kind of experiences that you have had from both the grassroots and also at the top. You know what is happening there, and you know what is there at the top. So the major issue before us, Mr. Chairman, is to look at these proposals from a humanitarian angle. During the time when we were interacting with the appropriation committee, there is that open window where we know the nation's paths are really tight. You know, but I think this is one area that with your generosity and plead, you can plead with the appropriation committee. Some of us will line up behind you, behind the two committees, you know, to see that some measure of humanity and humanism is visited on this institution. I raise my case, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Already the, my senator here and the former leader has already said it all. Mr. Chairman, I want to just add a little, maybe what has been forgotten by the leader. Correctional services, Earlier on before, it's been called prison services. And today, the service, there is an intention to reform the entire service. That's why they are calling it now correctional services. 
and I believe the collational things can be achievable with you and my own co-chairman as the chairman of the committees, more especially with what the leader has earlier on said, a comrade, a governor who has been laboring for the, at least for the Nigeria for many years for the betterment of our own indigenous. Still, the people in the prisons, they are our own co-Nigerians, and we believe we want their own welfare too. What I want to assure you, Chairman, here, from our own end at the uh, House of Reps too, we will rally before our own Chairman to make sure that all what has been proposed by the Senate leader, former Senate leader here, we too will rally our own Chairman at the House level to make sure that at least everything we do everything possible, what you people intend to achieve in reforming the entire sector, at least in terms of budgetary provision and other welfare things, at least it be made available through the budgetary provision. And I believe, Mr. Chairman, you have the capacity, you have the ability to achieve that. I urge, let's go that, let's do that, at least to make sure that the sector is totally reformed so that the people that are the inmates are in the correctional centers for rehabilitation, let them enjoy it too. Even if they didn't enjoy 100% what we are enjoying outside, let them enjoy a certain level of being then in Nigerians. So, Chairman, I so submit.